Special Victims Unit episode, Closet, directed by Peter Leto, written by Dick Wolf and Ken Storer, we see an investment banker, Jeremy Haynes, so found dead in his apartment. And suspicion obviously turns to his boyfriend, Lincoln Haver, a football player, um, who would possibly be ostracized if he was outed because he was a football player, and that's a pretty masculine thing. Um, the show focuses on stereotypes and prejudice. It does this through the characterization, characterization of the cops who have a sort of weak investigation planned because of their stereotyping and their sort of innate um, need to go after suspects uh, who are homosexual and bring them in to the station, bring them out of their comfort zone as opposed to having straight people being questioned in their house or their office. They actually bring in the homosexual characters to the station out of their comfort zone. Um, the stereotypes can be seen just like the racial stereotypes of Homeland. Or this guy can't be a terrorist, he's white, he's a soldier. Just like Lincoln Haver can't be gay, he's a football player. Or he's a football player so he must be very violent and he murdered his boyfriend. So overall, although it was poorly executed, the show was very self-aware of stereotypes and there was a strong, distinct message against them.